Let's just let this speak for itself. Astralis, Vitality, a good old BO1 boiling down on Nuke. They're wasting zero time. Astralis already just barraging their way out from Hut. It does get stopped by RPK as he picks up a couple of kills here. And now it's Device in the middle of the site, removed from this one. Ooh, frag back from Snappy though. He's trying his damnedest, absolute damnedest, but nothing more for him. As much as it's a shame to talk about Astralis now, so Masuda, he comes down to the base of the ramp, but he still hasn't seen anyone. I guess the advantage of this is he calls two more CTs over, but, oh God, the oh. disadvantage is Yugi's on point. Just shoots down two. Masuda trying to come in with some trade frags, but the last remaining members of Astralis are shoulder to shoulder inside Dark. And Masuda, well, he's gonna have to look down if he wants to clear this bomb ticket pretty quickly. It's already so far gone, and there's no way Apex can win this round. It's Vitality giving it up, and Astralis on the board. I like the round from both sides. I think considering how clean Astralis had, uh, how, how cleanly Astralis were able to get downstairs, from all regards, and I think the only thing that Vitality needed to do differently was apply a bit more pressure to Magisk outside. Frag being exchanged. Device, he can't get into the mix, so Magisk has a lot to try and handle. Device, he's just been chilling up here on the rooftop. He was waiting for somebody to actually extend from Squeaky, but that wasn't needed to pull off these pushes. And for T's sitting in there on these close angles, if they're arc coordinated attacks via ramp and via hut, as he's got his eyes set forward on the hut, looking for somebody to push, but there is nobody here. Oh, we're just gonna try to flood out where it's met by a smoke right as half of the terrorists get out. RPK can't turn back fast enough, but Zaiwu, he's in from above. He's gotten himself a couple of kills and shocks will seal the deal. Oh, or so it was. Apex, he's gonna peek up as Magis, who wasn't there originally, actually gets into position, but obviously these T's moving their feet past the blue box and starting to take heads. Snappy finding great timing. It's all on shocks. He gets softened up, but still able to take two kills back really quick. Oh my god, that is not at all what I expected to happen. Shocks now, the 1v2 situation is definitely a winnable one, and Although guns have been upgraded, uh, Magisk and Snappy, they don't have he head armor, from what I can tell. Nade will be perfectly placed, leaving Shocks in a one-on-one. -on -one. Extremely high clutch percentage in contrast to Snappy. Can he pull it off? Well, he's going to close the double doors. Focuses solely forward. Snappy just on the other side. Lines up the spray. <laughs> oh, line of sight not needed. But will that extra CT player come into fruition? They're going to be presented a lot of targets here. Zaiwu close on the smoke. A second headshot, but he can't manage that third one. Magisk is able to stay alive. Single man advantage here for Vitality, but Masuda finds the lineup through the door. And that's that lobby player. The solo lobby player for Astralis goes down. But so they have enough CTs to kind of watch all spots at this point. RPK, eyes trained on this peak. And he's going to find the headshot even despite being made uncomfortable by the flash. Oh, and Apex just sidelines Yugi pretty quick, so Vitality right back in control. This is exactly what's going on. And poor Yugi is wounded as he does get closer to that B-bomb site. It's Masuda with the one and done. Apex, great grenade, but he's gonna have to try and hide. Snappy gives chase, goes down as Apex swings out the door and adds another frag to the tally. But Device, RPK, top of the hut. We'll know by Device's crosshair placement what he expects, and he does find the first kill. Op is inside the hut waiting for Device to peek, but now downstairs has been opened, and he's doing it quietly. So not only will he be offered up a bomb plant, but Zaiwu will be a little bit late to the call. Device, he's going to prioritize plant. Zaiwu's trying to close this distance, but does not want to give away his position. Device still playing in the dark. <laughs> and here comes Zaiwu knocking on the B site. It's known because they mistimed it with how they cross and the smoke's coming up. Apex is going to unleash. Yeah, he's going to start sprinting inwards all the while. Shocks. Well, he holds on site, but Device turns his head back, and that's a big kill. It opens up the possibility of rotating up towards A. Shocks realizes this. He tries to stop it. 
And he's going to have to go all the way outside. Masuda, he comes back from ramp fast enough. And I think because Astralis are aware that this isn't a surprise to the CTs, they stutter step it. And now they've just gone ahead and lost the bomb inside of Mini while they did still remain downstairs. This is going to be really hard for them to claw their way out. It looked like they had that open route. They could have just all flying up the ladder and nobody would have stopped them. But now it boils down to just Dupree. He's stopped by Masuda, who wasted no time getting up into heaven. Little change up though. This time they're going to emphasize the lobby already with a bit of footwork outside on the A site. But shocks. You know, we saw a couple of times where he was being boosted on top of the ramp. He decides to get aggressive yet again, plays around the smoke, and hits them from behind. But it's still the 3v3 with people outdoors. Dupree. Oh man, he's going to be feeble with only 10 HP left over. But, so far, so good for Astralis. Oh. Zywoo, he's going to creep up into the oh. scope of device. It's all on the tank. And these last two Ts have such little HP to work with. They're going to fear for their lives. They're going to run, you know, Sherman, um, okay. Abrams. Yeah. I okay. World of Tanks, bro. Yeah. I oh, it's RPK's second okay. favorite game. His most favorite, still Counter-Strike. Let's see if he can clutch this. Last player right above him, both working with minimal Yo. HP, and RPA goes one better. 13 frags, 7 deaths, 8 health for the 1v3 clutch. Just to add a brand new problem onto Astralis. If they avoid one up and run into a second one, it was worth it. But, Device, he finds his opening outside. That's Apex down. A lot of ground gained here for Astralis. Let's see if they can close this out, this 5v4 advantage. They're going to walk around a bit. Zywoo, he's not going to waste any time. Just runs right in. Doesn't see it coming. Dupree. Whoa, a second. Oh, okay. Finds shocks deep inside of the ramp. He's going to go with a little bit of a missed flash, but still successful as he catches RPK inside the hut. That's four survivors for Astralis. Trying to find a little bit of comfort here. Trying to find the right angle. He hears the door open. Zywoo with the op finds one. RPK is going to be empty handed on the hold. Zywoo's now going to have to double back and try to play into the heavens. And Musuda, well, he's got the chance to come up ladder. But what kind of a distraction can his teammates create to even give him a chance? Maybe he flashes his own way out now that Mini's been blocked off a second time. Remember, there's nothing to lose here. Final round of the half. Oh, that's big. Apex, he actually finds Dupree through smoke. And Zywoo just looks away from the head of Yugi. That's going to bring in Masuda. Again, Yugi, he's being made uncomfortable. And Snappy, who started it all by stopping shocks, now has to close with the clutch. Oh, and oh, he walks into the second. wall bang. <gasps> no time. Okay. No time. Astralis, they take their fifth round. Vitality, they double up the score here on the defense. But it, it can't be understated how important he is on the T side for his entries. I mean, this has got to be one of his worst new performances today, but I imagine it's because of the IGLA. Yeah, extra responsibilities for Magus. Apex, he's holding off this lobby flank. And Device goes down. Another heavy hitter out for Astralis. Man advantage back in for the T's. Bomb planted. Magisk, he's trying to tap away. They've brought it back to just Shocks. Shocks looking for the clutch. Looking for the 1v2. He hears that bomb tap. Goes in for the challenge. He got the player off of the defuse as well. So now he tucks. And Shocks, a master class in the clutch. He's going to finish this one. That's Vitality with the second pistol. Yeah, I agree entirely. And maybe with Magisk finding that success last round behind the red, well, Device tries his hand at it. Snappy's going to throw that grenade deep, pops back up, and he has done such a good job already of softening up Vitality here. Device called into the action. Snappy's going to retreat an Apex. That's not going to make it any easier. RPK has been one of the heaviest hitters for Vitality, and he's taken out by an ally, a so-called ally. Apex, yeah, 14 health, going to walk forward on Snappy, going to take the headshot even. Smoke down Bomb Plant, maybe. Wow, they're respecting it. Partaking the restraint. He heard the oh my god! Even. Oh my god, and he's going to take no another headshot. Now the bomb's no actually planted way, for him. No way, Connor. No way. They smoke him this. off, he double flashes out. Oh, come on. Let us, let us believe. <laughs> 
he really, yeah, I mean, no matter what, his presence alone is enough to affect and influence rotations from the CT side. And so recognizing that the job's not going to overcommit. Yeah, they have pulled players down. RPK, double entry upstairs. Masuda looking to help him out with a third, but it's 3v3, and Shox is still up. That can flank heaven on top of everything else. What a push into the lobby. That is a huge read. Yep, that's the big one. Big one indeed. Device and Magisk. Oh, they've already got Shox looking for them, but Shox, he's going to get tunnel vision towards Magisk, and he misses. Oh, dude. Bro, this is all of a sudden a Shawless back. They've got the 2v2, they've got the health advantage, they've got the utility for a retake. Oh, but Masuda, he turns his attention around, and now it's Device down. Magisk, last man up. Smoke, frag, doors swung wide. He's going to go ahead and block off the right side of the bomb site. And then he's going to have to swing into the stack. RPK up close, execution style. That's a 14th round for Vitality. He's, he doesn't want to rotate, so as long as they can, they believe that he doesn't want to move from there, he's pretty useless. Okay. But he cracks back Apex. We do have the T's just sprinting down to the B bomb site, so probably thinking to themselves with Device out of the equation, with three other players somewhere in the facility, there can't be that many down on B, and they call it out appropriately. Magisk, he's making a ton of noise, just haphazardly running over to the secret stairs. That's where RPK is going to drop him, and Vitality, they are staring a 15th round in the face. That should put them second or third, and remember, it's four of the five that go forward into the playoffs, so this is a big one for Vitality. And finds a trade. Full nades kits here for Vitality. But it is a four-on-four four situation. Dupree, cheeky push here into the smoke, but it gets called out by RPK. He's been so aware of these smoke pushes. Yeah, RPK has been looking fantastic. Twenty-two and eleven on Nuke. RPK. Yeah, mm -hmm. holy. Again, one of those players who can just you know silently work his way to the very top of the scoreboard. It's the two pieces here and there that just tally up. Yugi, again with the Deagle, does tons of damage here versus the T's, but if it's not Device and Snappy to come together and clutch this, then it is Vitality 16-6. Device, he's been caught by Shox in this position, and even though he's ready, AK bests the M4. Snappy down for the count. That's it, folks. Vitality, the Frenchman, taking the win.